hand zone pairing over passkey entry with keyboard only. In this hand zone we will do very similar thing like in the previous one, only this time the WB will indicate that it supports keyboard only. So the mobile phone will display a six digit number that we as a users are supposed to input on the WB side over the keyboard. In the Cube MX the only change is to set the IO capability to keyboard only. We already have UART connection to display some application traces and we can use that also to input some values. So in the upble.c we will process the event generated by BLE stack. This is the same one like we've seen before, the passkey request. And then we will wait on the UART for the user to enter the six digit decimal number. And then we will pass it back to the BLE stack through the ACI GAP passkey response command. So in the VPAN middleware, we set the IO capabilities to keyboard only. And that's the only change. We can regenerate the project and make the small adjustment in the upper BLE.C. And here on line 504, we will modify the event handler for the passkey request, which is generated by BLE stack on every pairing. First, we will define an array of six integers, six unsigned integers, one for each character that we will receive over UART. So then we call HAL UART receive we will use polling mode for simplicity. So the first parameter is the pointer to the UR structure. The next is the pointer to the data array. Then it's uh, the number of characters that we wish to receive and a timeout in milliseconds. So let's set it to 10,000. So we have 10 seconds to enter the value. The characters are ASCII encoded, so we need to convert it back into decimal by subtracting 30 in hex. And we have to do this for each character. Then we need to concatenate these numbers into a single unsigned integer of size 32 bit. So I will call this variable passkey. And the first element in the array is the most significant digit. So it will be multiplied by 100,000 and the next by 10,000, etc., etc. And then we will pass this variable via value to the passkey response. So the C compiler doesn't usually like the definition of a variable just after label, which we can fix by adding a semicolon here. And the next thing we need to do is to uh, define an extern variable for this UART structure. So let's put it on line 227. And let's define an external variable, uh, which is of the type UART handle type def. The variable is called UART1. So now if I compile the code, I get still some errors because I misspelled extern and I get zero errors. So we can load it and make the test. So the device is now advertising. I will connect to it through SGBLE toolbox and I will try to read the characteristic. A pairing message pops out and Android generates a six digit decimal. I will enter it.
and the pairing succeeds and the value is red. And this is the end of the hands-on.